Oke, okay, everyone good afternoon. Selamat sore semuanya. Semoga masih pada semangat ya di sesi terakhir kita hari ini. Uh, saya mohon izin untuk jadi moderator uh, acara panel diskusi, uh, diskusi panel hari ini. Oke, okay, uh, tanpa berlama-lama, baiknya saya mulai langsung. Uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Tika, I'm, the, uh, I'm one of organizer from Open Infra. Indonesia community and also uh, uh, involved in organizing Ubukon Asia 2021. Uh, I'm also working as uh, marketing and creating some content reviews on my social media. Uh, it's really an honor to stand as moderator to this engaging panel discussion. And so, uh, before we delve into the engaging topics, please allow me to provide the brief for this uh, panel discussion session. Uh, I bring with us uh, six panelists uh, for this one hour session. And our discussion today will, will revolve around the FOS, uh, FOS confer conference and activity uh, around, around Asia and how it held in different countries. All of you can actively participate uh, by posting question with uh, link as.loka.id and there will be some merchandise for, for uh, the best questioner at the end of this session. Okay, without any further ado, let's begin the discussion. Uh, uh, I will uh, invite the first Panelist uh, Lota K K Baker, the member and former chairman of the Document Foundation. Please come to the stage. Okay. So, introduction from myself again. You have seen me three times. So, my name is uh, Lothar Baker. Um, Originally from uh, Germany, I was the uh, former chairman of the Document Foundation and during the pandemic time, um, as you all know, a very hard time for communities, uh, everything online uh, and so on. So very, very appreciated to join you here in this uh, Asian uh, community with uh, LibreOffice and Ubuntu. Okay, for the next panelists, we invite Yong Bin Han, one of the Ubukan Asia and Ubuntu Korea community or Ubuntu Korean local organizer. Please come on to the stage. Hello. Uh, I think I think we saw I think we already saw before. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, my name is Yong Bin Han, and I'm one of the organizers of the Ubuntu Korea Committee, which is uh, one of the local committee in Asia. And yeah, I'm also uh, one of the organizers of the Ubuntu Asia. I usually help with the uh, I'm the global team helping local team to implement their event, their city. So good to see you. <laughs> Okay, uh, two more panelists for uh, now. I'm inviting Franklin Wang, the Deputy Chairman and Board of Directors of the Document Foundation. Thank you. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Franklin. I also stand here for several times, so yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I'm from Taiwan, and I've been in free and software, free software and open source software for nearly for 30 years. And uh, I'm also uh, the deputy chairman of the Document Foundation the last time, yeah, together with Lothar. Uh, really, uh, I remember I started to contact with Indonesia community maybe in 2014. Uh, it's, nearly 10 years, and I'm very, very, very impressed with you. So I'm really happy to be here again. Thank you.
Okay, uh, one more. Uh, I invite Fenris from Ubuntu Membership Board and ex-Document Foundation member. Please come to the stage. Okay, uh, uh, every uh, good evening and uh, selamat sore. Uh, saya Khairul Aizat Kamaruzaman. Aslinya Malaysia. Uh, I'm one of the uh, Ubuntu membership board. And actually, I would like to thanks everyone, uh, especially to uh, sponsors, uh, Panitia, who makes this uh, happen, um, who makes this event happen smoothly for me. And uh, terima kasih. Mungkin uh, ini Panitia uh, speaker lain uh, beberapa kali. Saya pertama kali di. Pantas ini. Okay. We will begin the first session of this panel discussion. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, we, Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, we will talk about uh, the force, uh, the force conference and activity, uh, especially uh, in Asia and uh, another another uh, country. Right? Uh, we will start with the sharing insight in the force community in your respective uh, co countries and your involvement. Please tell us about the force activities in your country. Um, uh, and your role in the community, including any annual conference, like uh, maybe I will ask uh, Mr. Lothar and Yongbin, uh, who, who will be the, the first to tell us about this. So uh, the question was uh, about activities yes. in, in and your involvement. Uh, the activities and your involvement in the uh, in the FOS community. Okay. Um, my my personal one. Okay. Uh, where to start? <laughs> um, it's, it starts, uh, as I mentioned in, in, in the talk, uh, already 24, 24 years ago. Um, and uh, I got in touch with uh, the former or, or the, the, the roots of LibreOffice with the project of uh, openoffice.org. Um, and uh, we got a very, very early um, uh, business opportunity to do uh, a business with uh, openoffice.org. And um, I personally really realized um, very early that this can't just be doing business, uh, but also doing contributions back to the community. So these were my first steps in the, um, in the project of openoffice.org. Um, why I tried to help to build up this community. The very first event of openoffice.org was in Berlin. It was an uh, international conference organized by Sun Microsystems in, in Berlin. Um, and uh, we did there a booth and I did a speech and so on. And afterwards I got involved more and more and finally for two years ago uh, together with uh, Franklin, we were elected in the in the board, and uh, I got the honor to be the the uh, chairman uh, there. Besides that, um, there are so lot of activities I do. I do uh, business coaching uh, from f uh, uh, persons who are in the project who want to to do a business upon open source. I am doing a lot of lobbying in, in the politician area and the private sector for open source, uh, arguing why um, uh, private sector and uh, uh, governmental um, purchase should purchase open source, use open source, and so on. Um, perhaps last, uh, uh, last item I want to mention with this question. Um, why do I personally do that? Um, there are especially two reasons why I'm doing that. The first one is, um, besides this business uh, 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 items, the first one is I'm, I'm very, very committed to the, uh, to the grounding values of open source. 
of transparency, of respect, of diversity, as the meme uh, says from, from this uh, event. Um, and the second one is really, um, it, is, uh, it is a pleasure to, to work in an area uh, where you can meet worldwide with people, uh, can uh, discover different cultures, different uh, nations, different uh, local communities uh, like here. So these are the, the two main motivations uh, for me. Okay, that's quite long story for your journey with FOS. Uh, that same with my age. Uh, okay, what? Uh, how about you, Young Win? Uh, so, so the question is about the my perspective on the open source community in maybe in Korea. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. your force activities in your country and mm. your involvement, also your role in the community. Could you tell oh. us about that? Uh, so, um, like, I'm usually involved with the Ubuntu Korea. So, um. I so it's like uh, when I when I when I when I do some activities uh, through the Ubuntu Korea, we usually uh, uh, frequently uh, collaborate with the uh, many diverse other uh, voice community in Korea because uh, nowadays Ubuntu is like a platform for like uh, running many uh, projects. Like you can also deploy it on the cloud to deploy your some web products or some like machine learning products. Or you can it can be just like uh, we can just use on our uh, laptops for like uh, for some personal use, or it can be also adapted in some enterprises spaces, or really um, many more diverse uh, spaces. It can be you know it can be also on some IoT spaces. So we when we when we collaborate with the uh, so we need, it's like uh, that makes us to. Uh, Collaborate with some other uh, communities uh, very frequently. Like um, uh, one community we usually collaborate would be OpenStack, OpenStack Korea, because uh, OpenStack is usually very uh, deployed a lot uh, based on the Ubuntu. So you, we also uh, do some um, joint events with the OpenStack frequently, and something like uh, we also something like. Uh, like uh, some public cloud community, so that it can be uh, like AWS or Azure. Uh, we also people also nowadays uh, deploy uh, build their products uh, based on the open source and deploy it uh, using open source to cloud. So we also uh, all get that. So yeah, so uh, that also makes us to uh, bring people with the really diverse uh, backgrounds. So. Yeah, so it's, that makes us to, um, ah, okay, so, uh, sorry, I don't know what I to say, so, hmm. Yeah, so uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very nice to uh, meet people uh, with the many diverse backgrounds uh, in, when I'm involving with the Ubuntu Korea. And uh, about my involvement with the Ubuntu Korea, uh, I've been uh, participating in the community about I think it's about already 10 years. My first involvement was when I was at the high school. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I actually first met Ubuntu with the, um, it's like, it's, it's, it's the time that when we are like early stages of the smartphones, like people have been doing some uh, many, many hacking with the phones. So they want to customize their phone. And uh, I, I found it that People usually use Ubuntu to uh, work with some uh, smartphones, so that was my uh, first experience with Ubuntu, and that actually led me to also uh, join the our local community in Korea. So it was the first experience, and after many um, many activities, I involved joining the participating uh, in Korea. So. Uh, I also uh, became the joint the joint as organizer because uh, many 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 many, many existing uh, organizers out there uh, asked me to join because I was one of the um, pretty act, pretty active there. So so I I have joined there and I also started to organize some uh, local meetups like that and. Uh, uh, in in past two years recently, I we also tried to 
uh, start organizing some large scale events. So before the uh, something like now before the COVID, we have been uh, usually organizing some uh, small meetups, so people can usually come to our meetups and uh, they talk about their some of their use cases. But um, after after the COVID, we started to uh, you know organize the Ubukon Asia, and uh, it also led us to uh, try to organize something uh, more challenging, which would be uh, Ubukon Asia last year in Seoul. So we are also uh, continuing something uh, more challenging. And, um, and at the same time, we are also trying to bring some uh, new generation to our organizers so that we can also uh, keep our community, keep refreshed, and uh, so it can uh, last longer. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just uh, remember that we made a start our collaboration on uh, our networking for uh, yeah, uh, uh, the virtual world. Asia, uh, in our pandemic session. Yeah, correct.
crazy question. <laughs> <laughs> This one is a good conference in general. Excuse me. This is conference in general on only in the like uh, special community like Ubuntu specific. Okay. I think uh, in general there is not serious obstacle or not serious problem to host uh, conferences in Indonesia because we know that our people generally easy uh, to be asked for help and we know that uh, we have our we have our tradition that name is kotong royong it's mean that we like to work together okay in in the matters of event or conference or when we have to host this one usually the challenge is always the same these expenses this cost it's not easy to find it but if we are willing to work harder we have, we have uh, some a good channel everything usually it will be no problem the most of even is a very good I think this is also in a, after the pandemic, the event is also a good business. <laughs> Including this annual conference, has 
the post conference really have a direct impact on development and related projects. How? Uh, what do you think about that? Maybe Al uh, can answer first. Sorry. <laughs> If the conferences have impacts on the project, yes. and which the, one? Uh, post conference give the direct impact to, to, the, to the development itself or the related projects. Like uh, we have this conference, and is that give uh, the direct impact for the? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If not, we we would do it something wrong. <laughs> Certainly, does it have uh, impacts? Um, Especially in uh, engagement in the project, we win new people, new um, contributors, and that is the important thing to hold the, the, the um, flow stable and, and um, to get younger people in. We have a lovely audience with young people, so hopefully in both communities, Ubuntu and uh, the Document Foundation LibreOffice uh, will gain some great people out of the audience. Um, so the second impact is certainly um, um, some, some branding, some communications outside uh, the project and, and outside the event. Uh, the pure fact that we do such an, such an event uh, is uh, well recognized. Uh, for example, on this university, even if, if somebody is not participating, he sees the, the, the brands, um, is asking what's this. Um, uh, the dean uh, who participated yesterday um, showed his recognition and um, uh, valued uh, the work we do as well that he uh, is certainly interested also in having such projects at the university. Um, so certainly if we do not feel impacts out of these FOSS uh, events, um, I think all the costs and all the work and, the <laughs> and so on would be uh, uh, for, for nothing. But uh, certainly there are these impacts, yeah.
Same here.
Okay, I can only advise in general. It is also about how we organize and host the conference. In my opinion, in Ubuntu, we have no conference. We have party. We have no conference. Every we have every time we have what name release party. Okay, I think, I think, uh, in my opinion, I think next time we have to ask like even organizer or whoever who really experienced and expert to host and to organize this. Because for me, I met with this, this is technical people. That, the technical people is uh, over half is all thing. <laughs> we talk about this one, about program. This is really boring. So I think we need something fresh. This is something that we need the innovation uh, because the event like this is how we invite and attract public. Like see, uh, we saw that in the uh, in, uh, advertisement, let's say someone selling Lamborghini. This is super car, very good car, but still need beautiful woman <laughs> to attract this. This is something like this that we need the uh, technical people to organize with the artists or whatever. Um, so I'm just thinking that it would be nice if there would be something, some activities that every participant can uh, join. Something like uh, uh, I, I've been also participating in some other first conference, something like uh, uh, Debian conference. I my experience at the uh, Shinju, it should be 2018. Uh, so there was a JPG kit signing party. It's a, it's it's a bit. It's a kind of different from the something like uh, general conference. So, like in the general conference, it's mostly something like uh, some lectures or workshops. So, key signing parties is something like uh, it's not like uh, sessions. It's like everyone just gathered together and uh, it's like uh, it's like they, they they see their papers and uh, they see their ID cards and uh, it's like and they just talk each other and then get socialize each other. So. I think also it would be nice if we can also uh, try the, some similar things and Ubucon, and uh, it will be also helpful for people to socialize and uh, they can also uh, learn about the uh, Jupyter key since it's 
since in Ubuntu project or Debian project, uh, people use uh, GPG key to sign the packages or it can be also used for something like sending some email. So they can, they can, no, they can actually do things, so do the socializing each other and uh, learn GPG key at once. So I think some, having uh, some kind of some uh, interactive activities would be also nice. Oh, there, there was one from Habib. That was a good question. Yeah. I, I will try to take a take on this. <laughs> so, first understand the, 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 the message behind. Okay, the question is, um, TDF has a business partner ecosystems around LibreOffice development. So, business users are supposed not to not free ride community version. If no users pay for development, the situation could be worse. If I get it right, it's the differentiation between a community version and the ecosystem uh, partner version. If no users pay for development, the situation could be worse. Yeah, so um, first of all, TDF itself has in its statutes that um, that there should be a version of the um, uh, Office Productivity Suite nearly for free. So that uh, supports this um, unity or, or not uh, divide in digital way uh, users so that everybody has the chance to use an Office um, Productivity Suite. But <laughs> certainly there's a but. Um, certainly we need some um, especially ecosystem partner who do development, who sponsor the, the um, uh, software in the sense that they do contribute code and so on. Um, this might be a uh, business model that um, there are some uh, functionalities or some um, uh, devices or uh, um, uh, software for devices are coming from um, ecosystem partners with their own brand. So that's why we did this LibreOffic technology brand, uh, which is uh, under the hood, which is developed in TDF, but to have um, wealthy uh, partners, ecosystem partners, gave them the chance uh, to do such uh, things, which in then uh, which is also open source, this is important, which have to be open source, but have some additional um, services around uh, for what mostly professional uh, companies or professional deployments have to pay. Um, the question to get some, some license fees or subscription fees or download fees from users um, would be not 
possible with the statutes of, of TDF. There is a little bit of cost, of cost if you uh, go uh, through the um, app stores from, uh, from the mobile um, uh, angles. Um, it's because uh, there are own costs to, to, deliver, to deliver them on the, on the app stores. Uh, there are other costs. Uh, the app stores are the, the doorkeeper, and you have to fulfill some, some um, uh, requisites, uh, and therefore we need some, some money uh, to, pro to, to, um, to promote them in the app stores. So there is a, a little fee to pay uh, on, the, on the mobile. That's it. Absolutely. Hard question. <laughs> okay, it's actually a very hard question <laughs> for me because I'm, I'm mostly involved with the uh, something like organizing events in the communities, more like something like uh, do some technical things. So, um, what was the question again? So, could you elaborate on the collaborative development process and tools? Yeah, I, I definitely want to, to second this uh, because um, we are technical people and always think in, in is there a software who brings diversity and uh, something like this? No, it's a human factor. We have to have, we have, to have it in mind where we do it. We have to do something like this, go to local communities, be international, engage women in, in our community, to take part, um, uh, brave people to come with us and uh, for example we are focusing um, beside Asia, beside Latin America in, in the next time uh, Africa, North America where we are not so broadened with our community. We have to, we have, to have this in mind. There is um, unfortunately no software and no uh, special tool which we can use and then we are diverse. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Um, 
actually I have been about uh, six years I didn't attend any conference and I remember that uh, the good conference we met in Kemayoran right uh, in Kemayoran but since this uh, about 2010 since the 2010 I participate in uh, various conference and the first conference my feeling this is today is the best today is the best conference if you want to know the reason because this is very personal I like solo I like nasi liwat this one is <laughs> very interesting <laughs> thank you What should I say other than this one? <laughs> okay. Um, certainly very special few on this but because I'm traveling one and a half day uh, here and um, let me again mention my, my um, best moment here at the conference. It was this young boy uh, standing here with his in age of Harris seven, eight, in, with a year of seven eight, this is the future. This is the future, and I've never saw in, in ever other first conferences. And there are some huge, uh, for example, the the um, uh, first conference in in, in Brussels. Uh, the name is. Um, um, Frankly, in the name in, in, in Brussels, the, the conference. First um, It's a huge conference, but there is never such a young boy who talks in a in a uh, foreign language uh, about uh, an, an uh, free and open source software. So this was very very amazing. This was this is the right way to do. Um, yeah, this was the best moment here here in the conference. Well, I think it will be same for me. <laughs> so uh, I also uh, I think Ubukon will be uh, Ubukon Asia will be also uh, by February uh, conference because uh, it's it's now like uh, feel like uh, my home, another home like uh, like Ubuntu Korea is also uh, feel like uh, home because I I've been. Uh, meeting uh, people there for a long time and uh, I also uh, people uh, the people I met at the conference also have some uh, it's very, uh, common interests so it's also comfortable to uh, talk about the, some topics so yeah I think so so for my case it's also this will be also my one of the most favorite conference
In Bangladesh, I lost a lot of friends. Also, I lost a heart. And then, when I can meet a lot of friends, especially my this my older brother, can look like them, same style, fucking crazy. Ha, 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 ha.